the direwolf, a legendary predator, a symbol of power and wildness. For thousands of years, these magnificent creatures roamed the icy landscapes of the last ice age. Their haunting howls echoed across the plains. They were apex predators, masters of their domain. Then they vanished. Lost to time, their memory lived on in whispers and fossils. Now the silence is broken. The dire wolf is back, extinct for millennia. The dire wolf has been brought back to life. This is not science fiction. It is the reality of cutting edge scientific advancement. Through the pioneering work of dedicated scientists and innovative technology, the impossible has become possible. The de-extinction of the dire wolf marks a pivotal moment in scientific history. It is a testament to human ingenuity and our evolving relationship with the natural world. The return of the dire wolf is not just about reviving a single species. It represents a paradigm shift in conservation efforts. It opens up a world of possibilities for restoring damaged ecosystems and preserving endangered species. The successful de-extinction of the dire wolf offers a beacon of hope for the future of our planet. It is a powerful reminder that even in the face of extinction, life finds a way. The de-extinction of the dire wolf was a monumental undertaking, years in the making. A team of brilliant minds at Colossal Biosciences, led by Ben Lamb, George Church and myself, spearheaded this groundbreaking project. Their expertise in genetics, ancient DNA and conservation biology paved the way for this extraordinary achievement. The team's unwavering dedication and collaborative spirit were instrumental in overcoming the immense challenges of bringing back a long extinct species. The process began with obtaining viable DNA from well-preserved dire wolf remains. The team meticulously analyzed a 13,000-year-old tooth and a 72,000-year-old skull. These fragments of the past held the genetic blueprints for recreating the dire wolf. Using advanced techniques like deep ancient DNA sequencing, they were able to piece together the fragmented genetic code of this extinct predator. The team then employed polyphyletic trait analyses to identify the key genes responsible for the dire wolf's unique characteristics. The next step involved the intricate process of gene editing. The team used multiplex germline editing, a technique that allows for precise modifications to the genome. They made 20 specific edits to the genome of a closely related species, introducing 15 ancient variants from the dire wolf DNA. This meticulous process ensured that the revived dire wolves possessed the defining traits of their ancestors. Finally, the modified genome was used to create embryos, which were then implanted into surrogate mothers. The culmination of years of research and dedication came with the birth of three healthy dire wolf pups. Romulus and Remus, two rambunctious males, and Carlisi, a spirited female, represent a new generation of dire wolves. They are the embodiment of scientific progress and a testament to the power of innovation. These pups are not just scientific marvels, they are symbols of hope for the future of conservation. The pups are currently thriving in a spacious and secure preserve spanning over 2,000 acres. This carefully designed habitat provides them with ample space to roam and explore. The American Humane Society has certified the preserve, ensuring the highest standards of animal welfare. The pups are under constant observation by a team of experts who monitor their health, development and behavior. Their playful antics and growing strength are a testament to the success of the project. The de-extinction of the dire wolf has far-reaching implications for conservation. The same technology used to revive the dire wolf can be applied to help conserve critically endangered species. In fact, Colossal Biosciences has already made significant strides in this area. They have successfully bred two litters of endangered red wolves using non-invasive blood cloning techniques. These pups, named Hope, Blaze, Cinder and Ash, represent a vital step towards bolstering the dwindling red wolf population. The successful de-extinction of the dire wolf has ignited the imaginations of scientists and conservationists worldwide. It has opened up a world of possibilities for restoring damaged ecosystems and bringing back lost species. Colossal Biosciences has set its sights on even more ambitious de-extinction projects. The woolly mammoth, the Tasmanian tiger and the dodo are just a few of the species they aim to bring back from the brink. The implications of de-extinction extend beyond the realm of science. The return of these iconic species has the potential to reshape our understanding of our place in the natural world. 
For indigenous communities, the revival of species like the woolly mammoth and the dire wolf carries profound cultural significance. Colossal Biosciences recognizes the importance of collaborating with indigenous communities and involving them in every step of the de-extinction process. The de-extinction of the dire wolf is just the beginning. It is a beacon of hope in a world facing unprecedented environmental challenges. It is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and our capacity for innovation. As we move forward, it is crucial to remember that de-extinction is not a solution in itself. It is a tool that, when used responsibly and ethically, can help us restore balance to our planet and create a brighter future for all living creatures. The dire wolf's return is a reminder that extinction is not forever. It is a call to action, urging us to protect the incredible biodiversity of our planet and ensure that the future is filled with the howls of wolves and the wonders of a thriving natural world. Gap 3S. While the prospect of de-extinction is exhilarating, the journey to bring back the dire wolf was fraught with challenges. The first hurdle was obtaining viable DNA. Ancient DNA is often fragmented and degraded, posing significant technical obstacles. Scientists had to piece together the dire wolf's genome from multiple incomplete samples, a task akin to solving a complex jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. Next came the ethical considerations. The decision to bring back a species is not one to be taken lightly. Scientists, ethicists and indigenous communities engaged in extensive discussions about the potential impacts on existing ecosystems and the moral implications of reviving a species that had been extinct for thousands of years. There were also significant technical hurdles in the cloning and gestation process. The surrogate species chosen to carry the dire wolf embryos had to be carefully selected and prepared to ensure the embryo's viability. Even with advanced technology, the success rate of cloning is still relatively low, and each failed attempt was a sobering reminder of the fragility of life. Moreover, the reintroduction of the dire wolf into the wild presented its own set of challenges. The ecosystem had changed dramatically since the dire wolf's extinction, and scientists had to carefully plan their reintroduction to avoid disrupting existing wildlife and habitats. Despite these obstacles, the de-extinction project moved forward, driven by a combination of scientific curiosity, conservation goals and the hope of restoring lost biodiversity. The lessons learned from the dire wolf's de-extinction are invaluable, providing a roadmap for future projects and highlighting the importance of a multidisciplinary approach. The road to de-extinction is not easy, but it is a journey worth undertaking. It requires patience, collaboration, and a deep respect for the natural world. As we continue to push the boundaries of science and conservation, we must remain mindful of the challenges and responsibilities that come with such groundbreaking endeavors. The successful return of the dire wolf is a testament to what we can achieve when we unite science, ethics, and a shared vision for a better future. Gap 2S. As we celebrate the scientific triumph of de-extinction, it is crucial to reflect on the profound ethical implications of such endeavors. The revival of the dire wolf raises fundamental questions about our role in nature and our responsibilities toward both extinct and extant species. Gap 2S. The first ethical dilemma revolves around the concept of playing God. By manipulating genetics to bring back an extinct species, do we overstep our boundaries as stewards of the Earth? Some argue that the extinction is a form of hubris, a dangerous assertion of human dominance over nature. Others see it as a necessary intervention to correct past wrongs and restore ecological balance. Gap 2 S. Another critical consideration is the welfare of the de-extinct species. The dire wolf, once a majestic predator, now finds itself in a world vastly different from the one it once roamed. Can we ensure that these animals will thrive in their new environments, or are we condemning them to a life of struggle and suffering? Animal welfare advocates stress the importance of creating suitable habitats and social structures to support these revived creatures. Gap 2 S. The impact on current ecosystems must also be weighed. Introducing a species that has been absent for thousands of years could have unintended consequences, potentially disrupting existing wildlife and habitats. Ecologists and conservationists must work together to predict and mitigate these impacts, ensuring that the return of the dire wolf benefits rather than harms the natural world. Gap 2S. 
Furthermore, the resources devoted to de-extinction projects could be seen as a misallocation. With so many extant species on the brink of extinction, should we not prioritize their preservation over the revival of those long gone? This argument calls for a balanced approach where de-extinction efforts complement, rather than compete with, traditional conservation initiatives. Gap 2S. Finally, the voices of indigenous communities and local stakeholders must be heard. These groups often have a deep ancestral connection to the land and its wildlife. Their perspectives on de-extinction can provide invaluable insights and help guide ethical decision-making processes. Gap 2S. In conclusion, the ethical implications of de-extinction are complex and multifaceted. As we continue to push the boundaries of science, we must do so with humility, compassion and a commitment to ethical stewardship. The story of the dire wolf's return is not just a tale of scientific achievement, it is a reminder of our profound responsibility to the natural world and the ethical considerations that must guide our actions. Gap 2S. The journey of de-extinction is far from over. It is a path that requires not only scientific innovation but also deep ethical reflection. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in conservation, let us move forward with a sense of wonder, respect and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of all life on Earth. The world is vast, so no, and the journey never ends. If you felt the thrill, don't forget to subscribe. The next chapter awaits. Till then, keep exploring the unknown.